Hey guys, welcome back to Pop Rages. I'm Danny Alex. I'm an award-winning screenwriter here in Los Angeles. And hey, I know how hard it is to make a movie. There are a lot of people who try only to end up with a less than mediocre result. And let's face it, most movies aren't that good because so many things have to come together. Starting with the screenplay, the story, the right actors, sets, costumes, makeup, production personnel, a seasoned cinematographer, and so much more. Imaginary didn't do particularly well in any of these categories. It comes from Blumhouse Studios and it's really kind of a head scratcher. They've actually made some decent movies in the past and are a well-known name in the horror genre. But you have to wonder who it was who greenlit this movie and then, after watching the final edit, felt it was good enough for a national release. Even if you watch Imaginary at home on your sofa, you will still get that feeling that you wasted your time watching it. Simply put, Imaginary is not a good movie. Bad movies always start with a bad story premise and a script that couldn't win best anything at any film festival or screenplay contest anywhere in the world. Imaginary isn't even a horror movie. A horror film is supposed to incite, well, horror. The handful of times that the movie tries to scare you are only cheap jump scares that involve a few seconds of silence before a loud noise and quick visual cut. That's not horror. Those are just simple-minded jump scares. The screenplay for Imaginary is a series of sloppily written scenes that feel like the five-year-old girl in this movie wrote. It's like she was in the room with the writers and she blurted out the scenes telling the writers, uh, this happens, and then this happens, then this, and then after that, this happens. I mean, it's literally, that's what it feels like. It's a sloppy movie with an incredibly weak story and almost non-existent plot. Everything we learn, we are told through excruciating long bouts of exposition. The writer-director, Jeff Wadlow, gives the audience no credit and feels the need to describe the plot points through painfully long bouts of dialogue. Mystery is one of the important ingredients for any horror movie, but Imaginary has the mystery of guessing what's inside a Reese's peanut butter cup. There is really nothing that can be said about this movie that is in any way flattering. I find it shocking anyone who has any amount of experience whatsoever in the screenplay business here in Hollywood can read the imaginary script and think that there is anything that even resembles a coherent story, let alone a compelling horror movie. I hate being mean because I know most people try their best, but the acting in this movie is terrible with dialogue that I have no doubt made trying to perform the scenes that much harder for the actors. There is an elderly actress whose name I won't mention, whose performance can only be described as horrendous as it comes across as if it was her first attempt at acting. But that's what terrible scripts do. They make the actors look bad because a bad script will make bad actors out of everyone. There's a shit poo or a cockapoo, maybe it's a multi poo, I can't remember what it was, that shows up out of nowhere and runs around in this imaginary world where a giant teddy bear with long sharp teeth is running around killing people. Seriously, what did I just watch? I'm not sure if they were trying to be funny. If that's what they were going for, it didn't work. It came across as a serious attempt to create an otherworldly plane of horror where, where a giant demonic teddy bear roams. There weren't many people in the theater where I saw this movie, but the few that were there laughed several times. It just came across as stupid with some of the worst ideas I've ever seen for a horror movie. And horror scripts are my favorite to write. Even spending too much time reviewing this movie is in itself a waste of time. The only reason people will watch Imaginary is because it comes from Blumhouse. But their reputation for horror is slowly wearing away with the release of several underwhelming movies like Night Swim earlier this year and now Imaginary. This is a movie that is not fit for movie theaters. It should have been a Netflix streaming release. It's a movie that actually ends up literally pissing you off. The third act, it goes on and on and on. Just when you think it's over, it's not. And you have to sit back down and watch another scene that is just a repeat of the scene you just watched. Writer-director Jeff Wadlow doesn't even know when to end his film. I actually got up once thinking it was over because I really wanted it to be, but just to find out that it wasn't and there was yet another ending scene. 
And if it wasn't bad enough, the last scene gives you the impression that Teddy Bear 2 was coming soon. I mean, imaginary 2. <laughs> oh, the horror if they do. If you want to waste your money and time, go see Imaginary. If you wait to watch it streaming at home, you will most likely get only halfway through and feel robbed of the one hour of time that you know you will never get back. Imaginary is by far the worst movie of 2024 thus far, and there have been a few stinkers, but it's going to be hard for any movie to be this bad. Blumhouse has to be more selective and have outside script analysts review their production screenplays. Imaginary feels like a first draft attempt at a script that turned out to be nothing more than a bad B movie. I really do hope that Blumhouse can put together something better than this for its future releases because the industry needs smaller production studios to thrive. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving Imaginary a 3. I mean, this movie is bad and goodbye giant scary teddy bear. Oh, if you like what you heard, I thank you for watching. And if you didn't, well, I thank you all the same. And I will see you in our next video.